Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, we have so much to show today. I want to thank you all. Hi, Monica. I want to thank you so much for making me clean my studio. I'm so excited. I think I spent like four hours and I ripped it apart and I put it back together again because I am trying to spend the next three to four weeks just completely in my studio, relaxing, being quiet, trying to enjoy this beautiful weather and um, just do a lot of art. So that's really what I want to do. So I, um, I'm really excited to show you guys. So I've got a few other things too I want to show you. My studio, we're going to go inside in a minute because <laughs> that grow is so loud. <laughs> And maybe, is there a good luck sign about crows? I have no idea. Some people love crows and some people don't, but he's hanging up right up there. Um, and then I have holiday giveaways to talk about. And then I have some great ideas. They're great ideas, because like, they're ideas that I think are great that I want to share with you. And it's for next year's lives. So I think you guys are going to be really psyched about that. And I also want to let you know that next week we're going to do vision boards. So I will show you my vision board that I did and then we're going to talk about that and um, get started for next week too. Oh, Monica, you love crows. <laughs> That's all. I know that there's some people who totally love crows and I just wish their, their sound was a little nicer, but... <laughs> Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip this camera around and the problem is it may be the wrong reading. So anything written in my studio may be backwards because I have not figured out how to like get that figured out. So unless I do it in advance. So just so you know, anything that you see in writing could be backwards and you just have to kind of figure that out. So good to see you, Barbara. And uh, I'm just gonna give it like a few more seconds. Hey, <laughs> Rosemary. <laughs> yeah, it is sunny. I was down. If you guys are ever on my Instagram account, um, we got a couple e-bikes. My husband splurged this summer during COVID because we didn't go away on vacation anywhere. So he's like, you know what? I'm just going to spend vacation money and buy two e-bikes. And so they weren't as expensive or fancy as a lot of people's, but they're perfect for us. And we were able to ride down on low tide at the beach. So if you're ever over on Instagram, I think Facebook does it too. You'll see some photos of our beach rides and um, I'm thoroughly blessed. I wake up every single day grateful so much to live where we live and um, I'm just really excited to show it to you guys. So, all right, so hold on. We're gonna turn this puppy around. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. That would be our first step because this is my newer camera. <laughs> okay, good, that worked. <laughs> so this, I'll show you that. And sorry if it's gonna be a little shaky because I'm holding on to my, uh, I have a little selfie stick, so we'll see how this goes. But that is a old sink that was part of our house. Our house was um, completely a fixer upper to the point where you couldn't even live in it for over a year. My husband worked on it whenever he had time off. He's an ER nurse and when he ever, he, he bulked his shift so he could get a bunch of days off in a row. And then he built and, and helped um, fix our house up. So this is a sink that was on the property from the 40s so I thought it was really cool it is actually hooked up um, but it's too cold I don't use it so here's my back deck and I'm gonna step back for a second so you guys can see this is hey hey Leah um, he went a little crazy though and cut down a bunch of these trees so the backyards got some help back here that needs to happen Nivon um, all right, so here is my back. It's a studio, I did not clean up there, I have to admit, but it's a studio that he built for me that has a lot of light. And I'm really happy about this second floor up here, these three windows. And so the studio goes up like that on a slant and it's beautiful back here. So let's give you guys a little back view. So way in the back, right here, there's a freeway, our, our only kind of main road in and out of Santa Cruz. So that's back there. And then over here, these, this is, you know, Fremont and the um, uh, East Bay. 
and goes all the way along there, which is so gorgeous. So I have a little fountain here to sort of block out that freeway noise. So it's really pretty. I love to sit out here <laughs> with a micro. And these are a bunch of fruit trees that all um, are obviously done with, but in the springtime, it is so pretty to see all the leaves changing and the fruit. But I don't ever get too much fruit because I think the raccoons get it first. So what's really fun back here is because we're on, because we're in um, Santa Cruz, we don't see a lot of seasons, but there are a few maple trees that are way in the back that I get to see change completely red. So that's really fun too. And what else is back here? Oh, and I have my, my beautiful heart with wings up here. All right, so we're gonna walk in. So this is sort of my sliding door back way. So here's a little view of the back. So I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna give you guys a overall view and then I'm gonna put the tripod down and talk about sort of each area. All right, so when you, sorry, try not to make it dizzy. <laughs> so when you, this is about a 16 by 20 foot space. So when you walk in, I have my wall easel and then I have my gallery wall that I call. Um, then I have, where my books and a little sitting area and my art supplies. And then what I also have is I was going to, I'm gonna step back so you can see it. I was going to have a big table built, but I, I usually have three Costco tables and in here and I make an L shape and I usually sit over here when I do our lives and 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 put stuff on that one table and then you guys can usually see these two tables going this way and so i took the table out because i know for the next month or so i'm just going to be doing a lot of artwork and i'm not going to be doing um, a lot of stuff like they're not going to be making a lot of classes i'm just wanting to have a little bit more space to just sit and relax so i put the two tables together and then these are just drop cloths i got um, when i did a whole bunch of art shows and i would go to festivals so these would cover my tables so the costco tables are working out awesome i don't really want or need anything more than that i had these big visions of like a moving table but that's not going to happen so i'm fine with that there and hey terry and let's see i'm gonna put this view up here so these are the windows i was talking about so there's three of these windows up here and then the ceiling is done from knotty pine and our whole entire house was all knotty pine from the 1940s and when mark built me this studio he was also working on the inside of our house and he stripped our walls and put this up in here and I love it. I think it's so pretty. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this selfie stick, so fancy, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to talk about my favorite thing, which is the wall easel first. Now I know that you got some of you guys have already seen this and are probably like okay i've seen that enough but it's always fun to talk about all right so i'm just going to move this back a little bit so you guys can see it okay so the hold on one second let me move it back even farther hold on i got all these goodies on my table to talk to you guys about all right how's that okay i'm just going to shut this other door Whoopsie, ooh, that was loud. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you guys are, let's see, what kind of flooring do you have? Oh my gosh, my flooring, you guys, is, is, um, I can do a little dance. I have no idea if I'm in camera because I can't even see it. My flooring was from Home Depot and it was the kind that you click together. It took us one day to put it in, and the only problem was um, we didn't really follow the instructions. And when you get to the end, so we were, we, it was like the only project my husband and I worked on together that we actually did not get an argument. It was awesome. So we did the whole entire room, and then when we got to the very end, we didn't finish it off completely because we weren't done with a, um, I don't know, what do you call it? 
like a like a a thing, uh, a siding. I, I I'm not good at construction, but anyways, we let it go, but we didn't also weight it down, and so it buckles. We're gonna have to redo it. However, the whole entire floor cost us, I think, six hundred dollars, which is not bad. We did it ourselves, and the floor is great. And sometimes I do a lot of my artwork. I put on the floor and I do some photography right on it so when we're when I pick this up again I'll, I'll show it to you guys so that's our flooring down there and then our our uh, flooring from the house is up there on the ceiling okay so I'm just going to show this so maybe you guys can you can't hear me so this wall easel Mark built me and it's made from the wood that was in our house and it's been um stripped i don't even know if that's what you call it but anyway it's been stripped they were two by fours stripped on down to i don't know two by one or something like that so it's so simple it's basically three pieces of wood by these slats across and he screw gunned them in that's all it is there's nothing else fancy about it and we put the whole thing onto the wall and then what I do is I put screws, like two screws here, and I can hang my art this way. And what I do is I change them up all the time. And, oh, and I put these here together for you guys too, because this one I did when, um, this one I did, when was that, like May or June is when George Floyd died and um, it was our first big, movement of black lives matter and i painted this in honor of him and it was a, a big deal for me to get some of my emotions out and so anyway i had this up here and then this is the one from our demo so clearly they're very similar so maybe i'll do a series of those i'm not too sure i don't even know if i'm finished with this one yet um, and then this one was one I did, I think, before then. And this was another demo that I did that I might kind of leave this way. But what's great about the easel is I can move things around. I can look at things. I have um, my paper art that I've been working on. And then I Mark gave me these like big old industrial clips so I can... I don't work on it on this easel, but I can hang it up and see how I like it. So this is my favorite place to be when I'm painting large. I'm always usually standing, but then on some of these smaller pieces, I definitely put them right down on the table and then I can put them up on the wall. So if you guys are working, if any of you guys are painting and you paint on a table, I would then encourage you to also pop it onto the wall if you can. And I do want to say that um, for years I painted on the kitchen table, but I also found a wall that I would stick nails in and paint that way as well. <laughs> Which is the reason why I, I realized that I actually like walls that are straight to paint on as opposed to um, an easel that's got a little bit of a, a diagonal, a little bit of a angle to it which i'm not too sure why i like that way better but i do all right so hold on one second i just want to make sure because over see as i have no idea if you guys are even there because i can't see anything um hold on okay oh good we are there yes 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 okay so what else is over here that i want to show you um this i love so i find little pieces of things that i love to kind of hang all around and I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna move this for one second, not to get too like car sick, but this was, I think I showed you guys this piece before. This was, somebody was having a garage sale and I absolutely love, love, love it. And so what I do, I'm gonna stick us down again, hold on. I can't really do it too much, but they're little drawers and they all have my markers in there. Are they so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. And you know, it's kind of crooked. And what's so funny is there's like all this writing on there too. Like, I don't know if this was some guy's toolbox, but I love it. And then this is one of my favorite things in my studio. This is a company called The Giving Key. And I bought this 
way before I quit my job. And it says Dream on it. And um, it also is a company that really helps the homeless in LA. And it's called The Giving Key. And when I'm done and my dream is been realized that I will pass this key on to somebody else. So I have been sort of on the lookout for to give that key away, but it's given me a lot of um, hope and inspiration. And so I have it on my little, my little Buddha guy. And then what else is over here? Okay. So I'm going to move us this way. And this bamboo right here in the back is from my neighbor. And we, the yellow ribbon, oh, um, hold on, Rose, I'll tell you about that one. So the bamboo here is covering my chicken coop right there. My chickens are ready to, to, my chickens are ready to go, but they're still around and my husband loves them and none of them are laying eggs because uh, they're all too old. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, um, my, f the, the ribbon is from an award I won at one of my very first art shows. I was a featured artist and, and I won a featured artist of the show. So thank you. I love that. So let me just put my glasses on so I can read that other question. Uh, the floor easel is close to straight up. Yes. Yes, totally. Uh, and then Karen, the floor is that click and clack. Click and click and clack. I'm not too sure. All right. So let's see if I can get us in here. Um, I might have to hold this up again. All right, so look at this beautiful um, banner that I, you can't really see it because of the light. Let me get it closer. This is from Paula, and she's hopefully online with us. Um, she sent me this. Andrea, thank you. Is that so cute? And look, she made it out of, they're like little tiny cards. I just love them. Whoopsie. So sweet. So I have it there. And I wanted to tell you guys about this cabinet. So this cabinet is an old cabinet that Mark's mom found for me when we were thinking about redoing our kitchen years ago. And we have done our kitchen since, but we didn't use these cabinets. It's a little bit more modern. But she found me this cabinet, and she found me two of them. And so the reason I love telling this story is because... Uh, I gave the cabinet away, all right? I gave the cabinet away because it didn't really fit. We weren't going to use it. And this is way before I had an art studio. I'm gonna try and push this down a little bit. Hold on. And um, bear with me. Hold on. I'm trying to, mm, I can't do it. All right, I gotta hold it. Sorry about that. Anyway, so she gave me this cabinet and I didn't end up using it and I gave it away. And... I love it, love it, love it. And what happened was after she died suddenly, I sort of wanted all of this stuff back. And I didn't have an art studio and I had no idea what I would ever do with it. And I had given it to a friend of mine who used it in her beautiful store uh, called Dig in, Sa in Santa Cruz. And I said to her, hey, Kara, I really, one day, if I have an art studio, I want that cabinet back. I'm so sorry. I felt like such a traitor, you know, saying I want it back. And anyway, so I only needed one of them and she gave it back to me. So it's real special to me because it reminds me of Anna and I also feel like it's a little piece of her. So she found it obviously at a garage sale. So here are some of my fun little knickknacks. I have, this is one of my um, daily uh, drawings I did once a, once a day for a year. And then this is something I'm experimenting with. Isn't that so cute, you guys? It's a little piece of my abstract art on cradle board. So I'm gonna be working on some ideas for that for a class. And back here, these are all the, 365 day flowers. I'll pull one out. Let's see what happens. Let's see which one I'll pull out. So they're all in here and I have them in this box and I'll often use them as reference or I just try to keep the ones I really like. I keep in plastic. <laughs> um, and here are some other stuff. This is a picture of, of Anna. Isn't she so sweet? And I have her here with some other little things. And what else do we have down here? All right, so over here, I showed this last week. These are two of the older grateful jars I have. And these were some of the rosettes. And let's see, this is 
a box my mom made me. And my mom's on a Zoom art class. She's not with us, but she will check it out later. So is this the cutest box? So she made me this box. Let's see. It says, happy birthday to you. And when I turned 40, in the box was an album she had made me um, of my 40 years. That was so sweet. So, so that was a great gift idea. All right. So I'm going to put this tripod down and talk to you guys about my gallery wall. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and step back a little bit. So the gallery wall, well, I guess I can't even do that. The gallery wall is fun because uh, they uh, we also have lights. You can't even tell. Wait a second. Oh, that's the wrong light switch. <laughs> Okay, so um, my husband put in these light, the lights to just kind of put some light on the art, which I love. And hopefully you guys are all still with me. <laughs> and give a shout out so I know you guys are all still with me. But it, so far, I think we're okay. Um, so I put a bunch of my art on here. And I like to rearrange it and move things around and move some current art in and out. And I think what I'll do is after this live, I'm going to actually take some space on the wall and put post a whole bunch of ideas and goals I have for 2021 and use it also as a little bit of a planning wall with like big fat post-its. So that's always fun to be able to kind of rearrange things too. But for now, I kept it nice and neat. And there's my inspiration board that it's sort of falling apart. I have to work on that a little bit more. Um, I think you guys have seen a bunch of these um, art. This is my heart and my Queen Zara and some other stuff down there. And I've got some, I even cleaned down here. Here's what I was talking about with the floor is we never did that. We never sealed that off with a thing. What do you call that thing? Anyway, we didn't do it. And what's happening is it's buckling in areas, but it was great. Okay, I still haven't heard from anybody, so let me know if you guys are still on. Somebody give me a shout out. Um, and here's some beautiful pieces of art from some of you guys that it just makes my heart sing when I get a little love in the mail. And that is on this side. Okay, and then here, I'm gonna put this here so we can see. I'm going to talk to you guys about that, but I am going to go just double check and make sure we're all connected. Are we connected? I think so. Okay. I think we're connected, you guys. All right. I hope so. Here is a corner that I absolutely love. First, let me talk to you guys about this tree. So this tree right here was, it's a fiddle fig tree and I have had it for probably eight years and I had it in my house and it was only, it was probably only as high as to right here in my house. And then as soon as I put it in this area, it just completely exploded and it's almost like well, you have to be really, you know, creative or in your thinking, but it's almost like a heart. Whoopsie. It's almost like heart. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> I hope so. Um, anyway, so it's one of my favorite things. And last night I actually was just giving the, the, a little bit of a wipe. Um, I was just giving it a little bit of a little wipe to make sure it's all good. And there is a buffalo head that, you know, I was raised in, um, when I moved to America when I was 10, I lived in the UK and I um, was raised in Buffalo. And so I love buffaloes. And this was one I found actually in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And then I have lots of little things up there and we'll go a little bit closer. Um, and then here, okay, moving us again. On the move. Okay, this is the best story about these chairs. In fact, let me put us like this. Oh yeah, that works kind of, right? This is like a weird selfie stick, I don't know. Okay, 
I'm gonna show you guys something. I might have to get a little closer. Okay. These chairs I got in San Francisco before I was married, before I had kids, long, long time ago. And I love them, love them. And they were in a, like, like a, for you guys over in Europe, they were, it was like a sale, secondhand sale. Somebody was doing earthquake proofing and they needed to get rid of all of their things. They were a stager for homes. So I bought these two cane chairs for, I think, $75 each like 20 years ago. They are absolutely so comfortable. But what happened was we put them in storage and nobody really took care of them. And the little animals got them and started, I think the animals got them or two large people sat on them or something like that happened. I don't know. My husband probably sat on them, but this cane started to get really um, worn and to pay to get these done somebody wanted, I think like $800. So I was like, forget it. So what Mark did was <laughs> he put a piece of wood. Okay. So he nailed a piece of wood and then we literally stapled gunned this to here and got these at Amazon or you can get them at Ikea. And there you go. And you know what? They're so comfortable. So anyway, that is our re what do you call it a redo of those chairs but i love it but this area is super cute i ended up getting this um rug at cost plus and this was at pier one that i know sandra she might be on the art class with my mom too but she also has one i just saw at her house and i love them pier one it went out of business but isn't that so beautiful and colorful it's one of my favorite things so i do a lot of sitting in here I have these little racks that I found on flea markets. Here's another one right here. And I, I don't know what this one was, but we just sort of, you know, glued that, not glued it, but screwed that in. And this has got some of my journals and some of my daily cards that I pull for inspiration and all good stuff. And here, because Donna is on, the, Donna's with us. Here are some Madonna's dolls. And I know you guys have seen this, but some people have not seen it, okay? I just wanna show you some of the details of her dolls. All right, so Donna, who I love to death, is my next door neighbor and my mom, one of my mom's best friends. And when I was pregnant with my first baby, she made me this doll. Okay, is that the <laughs> Is that the cutest thing? So much detail is in this doll. And then this is her little artist doll she made for me with a little elephant necklace. And then this was something too, when I was pulling out my, let me get it down here, is this so funny? She made me this wrap thing card and in it, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to do this with one hand. I am not that coordinated, hold on. This is so cute, you gotta see this. Okay, so Donna and her family made me this card and they put all these little notes and it's also when I turned 40. Let's see this one. Lordy, Lordy, Andrea's 40. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much fun. All right, so I'm gonna put that there on display. So when I turn 40 and there are all the hearts that she knows I love. So this is a little area that I've been working on for my son. Um, Lukey, who will not be on Facebook, so he'll never see this, but I also have some other stuff. He's the one, he did all this with acrylics and paint pens. So he will take my paint pens and go to town. So isn't that cute? So he's uh, just turned 14 and he's quite the artist. So here is a long, I don't know what do you call this. I got this at a flea market too. And I just put lots of like little things in here from cards from people to artwork. This is my sister, um, Sarah's beautiful watercolor artwork she's been making me. She's the one who just started doing art last year. And then that's where I keep my art papers. And then Let's see over here. And here's some more of Donna's creations. These beautiful hearts that she made me. After Anna died, she made me these. And it says, love, 
lasts forever. So sweet. And then let's see, over here I have some ornaments that I had on the tree that I left up here. And then here's a piece of art from my other next door neighbor. Her name is Terry Kasimov and she is amazing. She's famous. <laughs> She's a famous artist. Look at the inspiration I had. My mom, Donna, Terry. So she gave me this a couple years ago and I love it. And I have it hanging up on the wall up here. Okay, and then down here, I have a little shelf of knickknacks. I think you guys know how much I'm crazy about hearts. So I have lots of hearts and little sweet Buddhas everywhere. And I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So sweet. And then, let's see. Here's some other little stuff. Down here is where I have all my books. So I have my journals to um, art books and just, you know, inspirational books and things that I just want to pick up and read. And I'm actually going to grab this for something to chat with you guys about later. Okay. And then I think, let's see, you guys all have something similar to this, <laughs> I'm sure. So these I got at Ikea and... I think they were like 25 bucks or something. And now you can get these a lot of places. I think Michael's has them, but you know what? You guys, they're so great just to kind of keep your place neat and tidy. And I only had one to start and I would drag it all over the house. <laughs> and now I have moved up to three. So I have my brushes in there. And then my latest thing that I just got is this... Um, Lazy Susan, hold on, I'm gonna put this aside for a second. I got this Lazy Susan at Costco. This is so cool. And I meant to get it for something else, but I loved it so much. So I have, when I'm working at this big table, I can then just put all of my, you know, current things that I'm using. So um, my Neos, paint pens, I'm trying to figure out like watercolor marker uh, pencils and non watercolor, but I haven't really gotten there yet. Now I'm actually trying to have decent brushes and then the other brushes are on that cart. And this is my bouquet for today. So I have the Scabiosa pin cushions and I picked a bunch of bougainvillea because that always feels like very holiday, that red. So I have that in there. And so I think that's it for our studio. Let's see, oh, and then I just wanna show you a couple other things on the table. And then I'm gonna pop this down and chat with you guys about our holiday stuff. So this is what I'm working on right now. And I'm just gonna actually, well, I'll just put it down for one second. This is what I'm working on right now. And what I do is I take my pieces of paper. So this is a six by eight, and then I put my tape down and I have eight of them on this board. So I can carry this board around with me. It's a piece of foam core, not board. And here's another one back here. So I can pick this piece of paper up, look how lightweight it is, and take it into the living room, take it into the dining room, bring it into the house, leave it here, wherever I want to go, or I'll, I'll just put it away. Like I can just, you know, put it down here and it's sort of out of the way. But um, it's really easy to work that way and I just find it's not like this massive mess everywhere. So, all right, where should I plop us? Let's see. Okay, that's a good spot. Nice and sunny. <laughs> All right, hope you guys like that tour. And you know what? I'm so happy that my internet did not crash on us. So I am thinking of doing some uh, Zoom art classes in January. And so I we we're actually going to upgrade the internet even more. But I'm kind of glad that it did not bust on us because I'm going to give you guys a little view right there because it's so pretty. Because otherwise... I couldn't really feel confident doing a class and having internet issues. So, so far, pretty good. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a couple things. Oh, you know when I was talking to you guys about the poem that I did, not the poem, not the poem, no poems. Um, the dream I had when my mother-in-law passed away and it started this whole kind of journey I was on. And if you don't know it, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll do that another time too. In fact, I think I'm going to do a newsletter on it. So um, if you guys are not on my newsletter, just go over to my website and just subscribe at the bottom. And I think you get a download too. So that a download piece of art. But I think I'm going to write about this also because I'm coming. It, it was, it has been now my third year that I've been on my own as a full-time artist. And um, it all started with this. I'm not going to go into it in detail, but I do, I did pull it out because somebody had asked me what it looked like. And this was my dream and I have a feeling it's backwards. So that is a poem that her Anna's best friend wrote. But this is the piece. So I have that out because I'm gonna take some photos of it. And um, I'm gonna get my notes. Oh, my notes are right here because I have some exciting things to talk to you about. Okay, hold on. All right, first off, <clears throat> Next week, we are going to create our own vision board, okay? And I wanna show you this one I did. So he, so you can, um, and it will be the right reading next week because I'll be able to adjust that myself. So um, what you need for your vision board is something to do your vision board on. All right, so here is a piece of 14 by 18 thin board that I got at like any Hobby Lobby or any place like that, okay? It's just a thin board. It's like a canvas board. But you could do a vision board also on the piece of foam core. You could do it on anything. You could do it on a wall for anything. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own vision board for 2021. And I know that we're all excited about 2021. So I thought we would do it next week. And that way you guys can keep working on it for the rest of December and that you'll be raring to go on 2021. And so what I suggest you do, cause we can do this at the same time, is between now and next Saturday, just start grabbing things like when you're looking at magazines and you see a word that you are inspired by, or let's say you wanna travel next year. I mean, who doesn't wanna travel next year? So let's say there's a place you wanna travel to. Think about those things, but don't think too hard and grab those so that we have them to start with. But the other thing is grab some magazines that you're ready to chuck and you don't have to go buy anything. Or if you're out of magazines, print some stuff off your printer, uh, off the computer. And we're gonna just glue and I'm gonna talk to you guys about vision boards. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of vision boards that I've done before. I'm gonna show you what has come true <laughs> and um, my ideas and philosophy about them. So that's next Saturday and that will be, then I'm gonna take a little tiny break. I'm gonna take the rest of December off, so two weeks, and then we're gonna start um, the following, like right away, like uh, January 2nd. Okay, and then this is my idea for next year. So I was brainstorming with Renee, who's awesome. I'm sure you guys, uh, some of you guys know Renee Mueller. She is a great friend of mine and a really amazing artist. And we were trying to brainstorm about our Facebook Lives because she does Facebook Lives too. And so here's what I decided I wanna do is um, next year, starting on the second, I will work with you guys on the same journal. So I'm just grabbing this as an idea. So if you guys have on your, if you don't have on your, oh, sorry, Terry, what glue should you get? Any glue you want. Um, matte medium, Mod Podge, Elmer's glue, um, anything like that, really, even tape. Sometimes I use tape, okay? And then I will write a, I will do a post and with more details on it too. Okay, so here's what I wanna do for 2021 is I want you guys to ask Santa or anybody um, and um, for a journal, for an art journal. And it could be any art journal you want. And then what we're gonna do is every Saturday, I'm going to do something in my journal and I wanna encourage you guys to do it with me or have the journal and then that week work on it. I don't want it to be structured too much. It's not a challenge. I don't wanna do any challenges. It's just gonna be something where 
maybe every week I'll have some prompt for us to work on in, like maybe we're gonna talk about the color orange and I do a whole spread on orange stuff, or maybe we're gonna talk about how to use pen and ink and I'm gonna do that in my journal. I just think it'll be really fun to look back on our year of 2021 and have like a really fun, you know, little journal that we've worked on. So just grab something small. It doesn't have to be something big. It's just something little and it's uh, something that we can look forward to. And you guys know that all of my lives are always in replay, so you never have to worry <clears throat> if you can't make the Saturday. Um, but I'll be talking about it some more and I would love any info that you guys have on it, if you have any ideas that you wanna talk about too. And I'm always looking for things to demo, but we'll do it all in the same place. And that way we can kind of look back on it. So, all right, so I'm still brewing some thoughts on that idea, but I wanted to share it with you now so you can put it on your list for a little Hanukkah gift or a little Christmas gift that you would like to have a journal, please. Okay, have a fantastic week. I love you guys and thank you so much for joining me and hopping on and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next Saturday. Okay. And I'll send notes about the vision board so you know what to do. All right. Bye.